Welcome to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get to go west on the water and stuff. And all that shit. Fucking cats, man. I swear to God, they're just making all sorts of fucking noise today. They do not want me to fucking record. And it's funny because, like, they're all fucking asleep and all that shit. Until I decided to start getting ready to record. And I was like, oh, let's all fucking make some noise and shit. Um, anyway. Um, I did look ahead to through a lot of stuff and um, shit like that and we may have a little bit of an issue and we may have to retool the group a little bit. Um, the big reason is this. Um, we really have nothing for water types. Um, and unfortunately it's a pain in the ass to get stuff like toxic and whatnot in this game. So in order for us to have, um, well A, Thunderbolt which is a pain in the ass to get, and B, um, something to tank stuff, like, you know, something that'll throw out toxic and shit like that, and just, you know, sit through and tank stuff. That's kind of a pain in the ass in Soul Silver, at least in the fucking, you know, whatever the hell this is, the vanilla version, whatever you want to fucking call it. So, here's the problem. We're not gonna really have anything that has Thunderbolt or anything like that. We can go by Thunder if we wanted to right now but oh, fuck you and your toxic spikes you bastard I want that move I love that move um uh, where was I oh Thunderbolt we can go we can go and get thunder right now if we want the problem is Thunderbolt you gotta do the coin thing or wait until Cerulean Cape which is way late in the game now ideally what we want to do is I really want to have Thunderbolt on Hellas right here and do exactly what we're doing right now soak that water damage in in heal and all that good shit and then go and you know drop Thunderbolts on everything um but that's gonna be a bit of an issue um I just keep battling here however um Oh, oh, and also, I was thinking, like, well, let's just go get Brick Break. We can go sit there and Brick Break everything and, and all that good shit with, um, with Cray Cray. Cray Cray doesn't, or not Cray Cray, but Brick Break is a bitch to go get in this game as well. So, like, yeah, like you, yeah, you can't even, like, supposedly get it in this game and shit, which is, like, fucking really... Same thing with something like Energy Ball. I was looking into all sorts of um, alternatives here. Um, so, the best alternative and earliest alternative that I can find, unless there's like a fucking... We can't go get like Magnemite and use a Magneton, but you can't evolve him in this game into a um, um, Magnezone. Now, honestly, if I had my, um, my capture card, not a good shit yet, or already, I would literally just go get a Magneton and and level it up, you know, swap it over to my diamond file and go evolve it into a Magnezone and then send it right back to this game. That's exactly what I would do. However, we cannot do that, you know, on, on well, I mean, I can go in and, and, and use whatever the hell it's called, uh, fucking the editor, and fuck with this shit, but I really don't want to. Um... You know, I mean, I, I kind of want this to be as legit as possible. You know, just for the sake of it being legit, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, to me, when I do things like that to cheapen it, for whatever reason, that just that just sticks in the back of my mind the whole time that I did this. I went and I cheated to do this. And that bugs me. Um, I mean, in all honesty, I've done it in, like, sports games and stuff. You know, where you go in and edit a player or some dumb shit. And, like, the whole time, that's all I think about. And, you know, I'm like, oh, this guy's great. Or I cheated to get a player. Or, you know, forced to trade through. Or some shit like you can. And, like, give me a 2K game and shit. Yeah. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm like, you know, it just doesn't feel right anymore. It it, it feels cheapened. To me, I don't know Body Slam. See how much Body Slam does. And, and thus, you know, going through and, you know... Yeah, you know, editing, you know, Magnezone or whatever. That's also why I'm staying away from traded, you know, Pokemon that need to be traded, you know, to evolve, like Gengar, Golem, stuff like that. You know, I would love to have a Geodude. That'd be a lot of fun. And I do want to do a Geodude at some point. Just to, just to piss people off. But, um, you know, that's, that's 
it is what it is, I guess. I mean, I, I, you know, trading it, like I said, I mean, I've got more than one DS anyway, so it's not a big fucking deal. I mean, we've got like five of them here at the house. And and we plan on getting, obviously, I'm, I'm gonna buy another one when I get. Oh, fuck, you can't escape my ass, you motherfucker. Cheap ass. I hate Santa Cool. I really, really do. I, see, there's no reason for that to do so much fucking damage to Phyllis. So, anyway, like I said, um, the cheapest or er, cheapest, quickest alternative to what we've got going on to solve that problem is to once again go get a Hitmonchan. I know people probably don't want to see that, but we got one coming up in Mag Mortar once we get done with a couple of these gems. Gems? Gems! Um, I was, I was once again looking ahead at stuff and, and, and trying to figure out where I need to fucking go so I don't do an episode and just get fucking lost, but, um, yeah, there is that Tyrogue in Mount Mortar, which I have went and gotten before. I don't think he's too far in there, in all honesty. I think this is guy just, like, up and gives you. He's like, hey, I have a fucking Tyrogue. Now, I will have to go do and be a little careful about leveling him. Because, obviously, we would need a Hitmonchan, not a Hitmonlee. Because Hitmonchan in Gen 4, I believe, pretty sure it is, has... I'm pretty... Didn't, didn't I say that in the last, the last LP that I... It's Gen 4 when they started making it all physical attack. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, that's what we'll need to do. Um, and all that good shit. And go get that figured out. Um, and taken care of. Because once we do, then we'll be fine. I am just going to try and skip some of these people. Um, ah, fuck. I need to take... Can, can you at least run from this fucking level 15 tentacle? Shit. Please, Phyllis. So, Phyllis might be actually out of the group. I, I hate to say it. I, I really wanted to use the wheezing. I really did, but it, it just, it kind of, I don't know. This Soul Silver and Heart Gold really isn't set up for whatever reason. Come on, damn it. Really is not set up for you to use that shit. Um, to use these, these stalling Pokemon, so to speak. Because, yeah, we can't even fucking run from this bitch. Let's go with Wreckage, see if Wreckage can actually do something to this little tentacle. So, I mean, it's... It is what it is, like I said. Um, it's a bit disappointing because I really wanted to use one. But... I guess I kind of... Put myself in that position and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, Like I said, I don't really want to use a Magnemite because... I plan on using one for an LP at some point. Can we run? Alright, I was going to say. Let us at least run. But we are still going to hang on to... Wreckage now! Now, the fucking problem is, though, that really pretty much takes our wall out of the group. But, like I said, uh, Soul Silver and Heart Gold aren't really, they don't really give you the equipment, I guess you could say, to, to set up a, uh, to set up a stalling Pokemon or group or whatever you want to call it. God, I hate all these fucking tentacles on the water. I really do. You remember when I was talking about, like, um, like how Magikarp is like the most commonly used Pokemon. I just want to fight this guy just to get the experience. I know there's a couple trainers I missed over there. Yeah, I don't like shit. But I'm really trying to just get over here, get this done, take out that gym, and then we'll be we'll be good to go. Um, oh, also we have you sign at the beginning of next episode. I think I think I'm just gonna go get to the city and not go up there and and let that happen next time. But anyway, um. When I was talking about uh, Magikarp being like the most common Pokemon in the game, which it pretty much is, Tentacool is one of the most common Pokemon as well, and good god it annoys the shit out of me. It really does. Jesus Christ, how many fucking Pokemon can this guy have? Holy shit. Um, it's just, I don't know why I don't like Tentacool. Uh, it, I think it's just, I think the whole reason why is just because it is super common. I mean, I love... I love it's typing. I really do. I'm like, that's fucking great typing. Poison in water. I mean, I'm down for that. And the whole jellyfish thing, really not a bad idea. But it's just, you just see so much of the damn thing. And it's just everywhere. And of course, it doesn't help that, you know, whenever you get on the water, it's like two steps. And, hey, you know, there's a fucking tentacle. And it's never anything different, too. It's so fucking annoying. You want to learn payback. Ah, uh, keep old moves. I, I don't really... Yeah, this, he's not really, 
It's not really set up too much for payback. I don't know. I'm probably going to regret it. Oh, I don't want to fucking send out a tentacle. But... And also, tentacle is, is part poison, so therefore, grass types don't really work against it. And I think that's another reason that really irritates me. Grass shit has a problem with tentacle and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, yeah, you see where I'm kind of going with all this. Kind of annoying. Kind of an annoying Pokemon. Whereas Geodude, Geodude is a lot less annoying because, you know, I, I know, yes, you see him in every cave you go into. Um, but Geodude is less annoying because he has less annoying moves and less annoying typing. Honestly, you can just roll into him and, you know, use whatever you want pretty much and kick his ass. Whereas Tentacool provides some some matchup issues, as does Zubat, as I've said before. Zubat's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. And, you know, it's, it's fucking everywhere. But, um, yeah. That's that's about that. Um, but yeah, we, we should just, you know, I think we're not, well, let me rephrase that. I, oh my god. Every fucking Tentacool on the planet is like hanging out in the water. I don't know, I mean, that just, that's just one of those things that kind of, like, it's just like, I don't know. I mean, this is one just big-ass fucking school of tentacle, right? I mean, goddamn. Uh, let's just go beat, oh my god, really? I can't squeeze my fat ass in between that? But alright, there we go. Alright, you look elegant riding on your Pokemon. Yeah, it's because it's a big-ass Lapras, bitch! Everybody wants my Lapras. It's a side. What are we gonna do about this side duck? I think we're just gonna fucking horn attack him. So, um, now that we're gonna have to kind of retool the squad, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Um, oh, Goldeen. Goldeen. Um, it, we're really gonna have a bunch of sweepers, really. In all honesty, um, you know, Tauros is gonna be a sweeper. The only real defensive Pokemon that we're really gonna have is is Krabby, really. Um, now you're confused. Now you can't figure out left from right. Uh, there we go. Horny attack. Fuck you, bastard. Anyhow. Um. So yeah. I don't. I don't know what else. Where I was going with any of that, but um, it's kind of off my soapbox now. I didn't even call it a soapbox, but we should have a relatively straight shot to, um, to whatever the fuck this city is here. Is it Cyanwood or whatever the fuck it is? Something like that? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember the names of a lot of these places all that well, in all honesty. But it is, it is this ways, I think. But once we get there, like, like I said, then we'll end the episode, and then you sign will be, or you seen, or whatever. Like, a weird ass fucking name, right? I mean, it's one of those ones like Sukun. I know everyone's like, oh, Suicune, or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Hey, oh, there we are. There you go, jump off. And running, 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 running. There we go. But anyhow, here we are at our wonderful, wonderful Poké Center. Um, yeah, we'll do the fight with him next time, and then we'll get working on Chuck's lackeys. Oh, and we need to get the fucking thingy from the thingy with the thingy in it. The wonderful stuff. I'll do that just before we fucking drop off this episode. I'll, I'll, I'll do that right now, yeah. I'll, I'll just get the healthy, healthy stuff. You can get it before the gym fight, right? Because I know you get to fly afterwards from his wife. Because she's like, oh my god, you kicked his ass. I'm like, yeah, oh. That's what I did. Decided to do the trick. Secret potion. We has a secret potions. And, and stuff. But anyway. Um, we'll just stop it right here. Because that's what we do. Right? Anyhow. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember. The ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.